Hi, what's up? I'm Ayan. Today I will show you how to dual boot your Windows laptop with Kali Linux or any other Linux OS that you want. First, we need to download Kali Linux. You need to go to this website. Link will be given in the description and you also need to download this software, the UNet Boot-in. Link will also be given in the description. So I am using Windows here, so I'm gonna download the Windows version for now. If you have Linux or Mac OS, you can download the specific ones. Okay, the unit protein is now being downloaded. It is now downloaded completely. It is a very lightweight software. Now let's get to download Kali Linux or any other Linux that you want to use for dual boot. I'm gonna download the installer image. I am using a 64-bit system, so let's download the complete offline installation version. And let's wait for it to finish the downloading. Okay, now here you can see both of these softwares are now downloaded completely in my downloads folder. Now all I need to do is to make partition for the drive that I want to install my Kali Linux for dual boot. Let's go to disk management and then I need this local disk D and I need to shrink the volume for it. I'm gonna using 100 GB for it, so I'm gonna type here 102400. It is exactly 100 GB, so let's shrink it. Now we have 100 GB unallocated. Let's make a simple volume of it. You can assign any letter you want, as long as now I'm gonna use the F1. Uh, everything's perfect let's finish the installation okay now it is working now let me show you if the drive is working or not as you can see we have another drive here which is completely empty now let's get to installing the system first of all we need to open the unit boot in run as administrator okay now here I am gonna select the operating system. You can also download operating system from here, but I recommend this. As I am not using a USB drive, so I'm gonna select the hard disk and then let it go. Now let's wait for it to finish the extraction process, then we get to installation. This is now almost complete. Let's wait for it to finish the completion. And then what we need to do is to reinstall the, I mean reboot the system. Okay, let's wait for it. Now it is completely finished. Now let's reboot the system and enter into unit boot in. Got it. Let's exit everything. And now I'm gonna restart my PC don't mind that When your system boots up, select the UNet boot in for installation of your Linux operating system. I am not gonna install it right here because I am not gonna be using the uh, dual boot system so that's useless for me so all you need to do is install the software and then restart your PC back into Windows 10. Okay, I have restarted, now you will have need to do is to go to Windows 10. To uninstall the unit board and software that you just installed on your C drive. I me into the password and then let's get to the downloads folder.
okay let's run as an administrator the unit voting software now it is that says that uh, it is currently installed now let's just press ok and it has now uninstalled the software that was previously installed so that was this easy anyway that's been it thanks for watching i will catch you in the next one take care goodbye